is our deep fryer turkey tips and tricks show. Got a couple videos about deep frying. I want to run over some tips to make this a really better experience. First of all, if all else fails, read the directions that come with your propane deep frying kit, all right? They're all a little different. Maybe you know how it works, maybe you don't. But that rolls into our second tip, is to test it out a couple days before you're going to deep fry. You don't want to all of a sudden have the thing not working. That would be a bad thing, right? Dress rehearsal. There's all sorts of arguments about what kind of oil. Cheap oil works for me, okay? Also, Mike Allen of Popular Science Magazine, uh, who I got some of these tips from, agrees with me on this. Uh, I bought the cheapest kind. Three gallons usually does a 30 quart deep fryer. Smaller birds are better than large birds I've found as well. This is a smaller bird. The problem with a, like an 18 pound turkey, you put it into a thing full of hot oil. Even though you've measured all the oil, it still might overflow. It's just a slightly smaller bird is a better bird. Calibrate your thermometers. Boil some water on the stove, put this in. At sea level, it should read 212 and a half. Uh, higher elevations like here, it reads about 210. You wanna get it within two degrees. It's important for measuring the oil and the temperature of the finished bird. Wear clothes that you don't care about when you're cooking this because you don't want to get hot oil or even warm oil like this all over your brand new shoes or your nice clothes. So just dress like Eric. Fresh turkeys are much better than frozen turkeys. Part of that reason is I always forget to defrost the turkey, but even if you are defrosting it in your refrigerator, it might still be frozen on the inside and that means that there's water inside your turkey when you're putting cold water into very hot oil bad things can happen so i found that fresh turkeys are much better than frozen ones always have a fire extinguisher nearby it should say a b c on it okay you never know when you're ready to put the uncooked turkey in the hot oil turn the burner off drop this in then when you wanna pull this back out to check the temperature or to pull it out when it's finished, again, turn the burner off and then pull this out. You don't wanna be dripping hot oil over the side of the pot and then that can contact with the flame. When you're bringing your turkey in and out of the hot oil, wear heavy duty gloves. A Garden Fork viewer sent me these. They're really great. I'll link in the show notes below. Again, slowly in, slowly out of that hot oil or bad things can happen. I have a list. You can dry rub your turkey. You can also do a dry brine. You know, the dry brine is you're just covering it with salt for a couple days um, in the fridge, or you could do a dry rub one or two days before, whatever you like. If you're doing the dry rub, a lot, because as soon as you drop it into the oil, a lot of that comes off, but it does flavor the oil as well. When you pull that hot bird out and you're all done, you can put it on a cookie sheet or a big bowl Whatever you have that's metal and can withstand some oil and heat. When you're considering where you're going to cook your turkey or turkeys, I like putting it on the lawn. And why is that? Because the lawn will absorb oil. So if you've spilled oil somewhere, the dirt will absorb a lot of it. Whereas if you're working on your driveway or your deck or something, then you've got oil all over your deck or driveway and you can slip and hurt yourself. And it's a pain to clean up. Someone's gonna be mad. Yeah. <laughs> wonder who that would be. You can reuse the oil. The oil is fine. The thing is, the turkey particles that are in the oil now after it's, after it's cooked are not fine. So you want to filter those out with some cheesecloth or a sieve and cheesecloth. You can use the oil up to four times. You can either keep it in a cold basement, if you have a refrigerator down in the basement, um, or find someone that in your uh, area that uses uh, grease in their uh, Volvo or biodiesel car, you know? Put it on Craigslist. I like to use these uh, really long lighters. They make the propane lighting much easier. That's better than sticking your hand in there. She smells turkey everywhere. <laughs> All right, there you go. Turkey chirps, tips, and hints. Our other deep fryer videos are, if the buttons are working up here, also in the show notes below. Let me know what you think. Comments, questions. What are your turkey deep frying tips? In the comments below. See ya.